Hello guys, welcome in for another gold making tips video. Today we are going to be discussing the very rare Aeliad plants. Aeliad plants are rare drops from Aeliad ruins, delves like the Black Vine ruin in Mabel Tor, or the public dungeon of Rulian's Fallen Greenshade. And in the background of this video, you're going to see me farming the public dungeon of Rulian's Fall. One thing to note is you are going to want to avoid Daedric infested Aeliad ruins, as you could end up with Daedric plans instead of Aeliad plans. In these ruins, you are going to want to go in and loot all the mobs, making sure to kill any and everything you find in this place. And it's going to be important to avoid backpacks, urns, and other containers like that, as those containers can instead drop plans from whatever zone you're in, be that base game or a DLC zone. So kill mobs, loot the mobs, avoid urns and containers. The different types of plans you can get include the Aeliad Table Car, Aeliad Brazier Welcome Holder, Aeliad Bench Car. These are the three different blue plans that you can find. But the real money comes in with these purple plans. The Aeliad Bookcase Cluttered, the Aeliad Bookshelf Cluttered, and there is a third purple Aeliad Brazier, but this one is so rare that there's not even one for sale right now on the Marketplace Tamriel Trade Center, so I'm not going to include it for this video. For going through and killing the mobs, you don't need to be fast. Actually, you don't want to go so fast that the game puts you on cooldown for looting mobs. It's an anti-farming type of thing, so people don't go through and insta-kill mobs and then farm the gold that drops from them. You just need some sustain. You can wear a set like False Gods that gives you extra magicka back upon killing things, or just heavy attack every now and then. The important thing is just to make sure you're killing everything and have lots of AoE damage. When farming for these plants, do note that if you get a blue plan or a purple plan, you are then on about a one hour cooldown. This is an anti-farming measure that's implemented into the game to help keep rare plans rare. So if you get a blue plan, it's time to call it a day. If you get a purple plan, it's time to call it a day. And come back later. Now, let's talk about just how rare these plans are. For a blue plant, you're going to expect 1-3 to three hours of farming mobs. And for purple plants, you're going to expect anywhere from 10-20 to 20 hours of farming mobs. These are just averages from what I found from multiple people on the internet. And in the background, whenever I was doing my farming, I did 1 hour of farming and I didn't find any plants. Blue plants are going to run about 30,000 gold right now on the PCNA market, while the purple plans are going to be more like 20 to 25 million gold. So is this worth it? If you're looking for alien plants, I would say yes. If you're a collector and you like grinding for this type of stuff and you like the reward of finding plants yourself, yes, go for it. But if you're looking at this for the money, trying to get a gold per hour ratio type of thing, and get the most bang for your buck, I would say no. In my hour of farming in a public dungeon, I ended up with about 30,000 gold worth of materials. No alien plans, and the gear is not very good. So while you might get lucky, I wouldn't bet on it. And there's other more guaranteed ways to make gold such as farming raw materials in the overland world which i'll be making a video for in the future i would consider this more like something to keep in mind the next time you're passing through an alien ruin either for a quest or you're going for a sky shard or something of that nature go through and kill all the mobs and make sure to loot them as you go 
and to not just rush through. You never know, you might get lucky. And with that guys, thank you guys for joining me today for another gold making tip video. I'm having fun with these little short vids, random ideas that don't really go together too well, but give you some ideas and tips on how to make gold in the Elder Scrolls Online. Make sure to check out my other video and subscribe if you like this content. Until next time, have a great day. Bye!